everyone, it's Kidu or Captive Collector, whatever you want to call me. In this video, I'll be doing a room tour for 2021. I filmed one last year and then realized I was going to be changing stuff again right away anyway. So then I waited and then it took longer to get the things in my room changed that I wanted to change. Anyways, we're not going to worry about that. If you're interested in seeing what my room looked like back in 2018, I will link that video in the description below and up in the card if you are interested or the cards of, I don't know, instructions. And you can check that out if you want and see the progress of my bedroom and what things have changed and what things haven't changed. So feel free to do that. So I'll start you guys in the hallway and I'll walk you through my room and kind of just show you everything that I got and my figure collection and such. Like, comment, subscribe, let me know what you guys think of my room. Let me know if you like it, if you don't like it. I live in a grungy basement. I am doing the best I can with what I have. So let's get on with the room tour. Here is the little entrance to my space downstairs. Um, I have some stuff up on the walls here. Got the map from Dragon Age here. I've got a Cassandra print up there. I have a limited edition print for Dragon Age Inquisition that came out a while ago. Some more Dragon Age prints here. Um, real quick, this is the hallway that leads to the furnace room. There's just stuff stored there. This clock this battery's dead and I, I do not have another battery and I have not bought one in probably a year. <laughs> Um, I have my calendars up on this wall here. Uh, right now we are for technically May and June. They have two months. Saito from Hakuloki. Very pretty. I have one technically for this year. These are both for 2020 and 2019. My calendar for 2021 is unfortunately stuck in Japan because Japan's not shipping to me right now. <laughs> they don't ship to Canada at the moment. Uh, I just have some posters and wall scrolls in this hallway here. Um, this room has my clothes and I store my boxes for my figures in there. I also have these two backpack shields from Legend of Zelda. And then I have like a fake foam master sword that I just kind of have chilling on this wall. Um, we're not going to go in there because it's a mess. <laughs> and that's a storage room, furnace room. Anyways, we're going to head back over to my little area. I have a little carpet. This used to actually be in my room in front of my TV, which you probably would have seen if you watched my last room tour. Here I just have a rack of clothes, um, generally clothes that I use the most. It used to just be work clothes that was up there, but I haven't had like work with a dress code in a very long time, so I just kind of wear whatever now. A bunch of shoes that I probably need to go through again and get rid of stuff. Just some backpacks and bags stored on the side and my winter coat there. That's my laundry basket. That's the laundry room in there. There's a cat door. We don't have a cat. That was there from whoever lived here first. I have a Vampire Night wall scroll on my door, mostly because it's the only wall scroll that would fit on my door. The other ones are too large. I still like Vampire Night, but you know when certain series don't hold up anymore like they used to? Anyways, uh, ignore the disgusting door. I should probably clean that. So now we are entering my bedroom. Sorry, the door catches on the carpet. <laughs> I have a wall scroll of Link here, a little tomb Link, and then this is my room. This is the full scope of it. I have lots of lights and junk around, and I hung lights on my ceiling because I got really bored when lockdown started, and I was like, I need to add something. The lighting down here is absolute shit, so this actually is a lot nicer like it adds a bit of light in my room, which is surprising, but it works good. Here is the little front entrance. I have a window right by my door. There is me. Hello. So yes, window and disclaimer, all of the plants in my room are fake plants. Again, I live in a basement, so the only light I have is from this tiny window. One day I would like to be a real plant mom, but as of right now, I am just a fake plant mom. I've got some prints up on the wall here. Midsama and Parasite prints. We've got Free. We've got Haikyuu. We've got Final Fantasy XV. More Haikyuu. Attack on Titan. Um, some pieces that I did back in high school art class or whatever. And this is my sheath pin board. <laughs> I have so many sheath 
like pins and charms that I had to make a dedicated cork board for it. Unfortunately, not everything still fits. I still have quite a few things stored away, but like this is what I came up with for now. I'll just kind of go through them really quick so you can see. Very nice, very lovely. I've got this gorgeous light box that I forgot to turn on. It is a sheath light box. Absolutely in love with this light box. It is a scene from episode six in season six. It is like my favorite episode. It's so good. I have a really cute little book made by an artist that one of my best friends got me it's your mediocre life but it has like a really cute little message in it more fake plants as you can see i've got this little pin and a korean quote this is a bts thing but this is also from uh the same friend that got me this i've got some old books that i picked up at a used book sale a long time ago another fake plant got another print here i have a little picture of keith and shiro in the water it's cute they're cute um yeah big mirror it's grand good stuff we'll move on over to this section of my room now I've got my sound system in here. That is my backpack. I've got some cute little pride pins, um, a little Gudetama keychain that my friend got me. Hi Q, we've got Death Note on the bottom and One Punch Man in the middle. And then of course I have this beautiful Link on Loftwing statue from First Four Figures. And I have a big poster print from Skyward Sword in the back. It is actually, I believe, from Symphony of the Goddess, yeah from the symphony they have. I have some prints and wall scrolls above my TV. My speakers, ignore the massive cords. I've got my PS5 controller charging, although my PS5 is off, so it's not actually charging. Got a little sage, a nebulizer, put in some nice scents in the air, some more fake succulents. I don't know, some, some little book, wood made books. I don't know, they're little books, but they're made out of wood. So this is my game and anime corner i guess i have this all set up here this is my couch setup it is literally half of a sectional i'm just doing what i can with what i have <laughs> this carpet is fairly new i really like it i'm going for a very green accent colors with all the fake plants and whatnot it's got some kogios free or on as you can see my tv and down on the stand, what I have is my Switch, which I still need to finish customizing. There's another skin I want to get for the main body of the Switch and for the dock. I have not done that yet, but it'll happen eventually. And I have Bulbasaur and Squirtle next to the Joy-Con colors that match them, and it makes me really happy. I got a Wii U hanging out right here with a Piranha Plant amiibo and a little Charmander pop figure. The middle speaker for my sound system ps3 ps4 and the ps5 i wish i could stand the ps5 up but there isn't really a space i can do that so he's just hanging out sideways right now now moving on to this corner my dog is barking upstairs don't mind her more cookie ass and free oh i didn't charge the little moon i forgot the moon like lights up and you can change its colors and i like to put it on the red one and then have the castlevania pops hang out in front of it because i think it looks really cool but yeah i forgot to charge the moon so i can't show you that up here i have got a first four figures little statue of skyward sword link chilling right there I have Aloy's statue from the special edition of Horizon Zero Dawn. I really love her statue. That game was like, it's one of my favorites. It's so good. So I'm really happy that I have her. Um, and now going into my shelves, I'm not going to go through each game in these shelves mostly because there's, and all of my shelves, including my books, I'm not going to go through each item because it is too much and this video would be a billion hours long so i'm just gonna kind of pan through them and you guys can take a peek at what i have um some of my stuff is stored behind things though so that's the only thing you might not be able to see everything i got my video games here some special editions uh yes i still have 
some things in the plastic. If I have opened it, often I'll slide stuff back in the plastic if the plastic is still intact. Um, I got Nathan Drake's pop figure here, Aloy's pop figure, and Laura Croft's pop figure. Uh, actually, these are all games stacked behind here too because I don't have space for everything. So I'm just kind of trying to make things fit while still making them look nice. Uh, yeah, so there's like games all behind here. Uh, same thing with this one here. This is Hakuoki, Stories of the Shinsengumi. Um, I have more games stacked behind. Another fake plant. PS4 special edition controller. More PS3 games. A bobblehead of Spider-Man, but the bobble is broken. I my PS Vita here. It's very dark in this corner. It's very dark in my whole room, so I apologize. <laughs> some PS1 games that are unopened. And PlayStation 2 games here. And some 360 games down there. Let's move down to my Switch stuff now. Got some special editions going on here. We got the Steins Gate special edition. I got the Fire Emblem, Shadow Dragon, and Blade of Light special edition. I have the special edition for Astral Chain, which is chilling here as well. It's the Japanese one. Um, and of course, Fire Emblem Three Houses. I have a little standee of Claude, which is given to me for my birthday from one of my best friends rune factory for a special archival edition hanging out here and behind it i have a ton of stacked switch games again trying to use as much space as possible we've got the pokeball plus that is unopened um some pokemon like toys got a vulpix and a growlith and then i have a cow from Story of Seasons, Friends of Mineral Town Special Edition. Or I think it was just a pre order bonus, actually. Got some more Pokemon games, and then I have some more special editions and more games stacked back here because, again, no room. Down on the shelf below, we have Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Work set. That special edition is very nice hanging out there. I have the special edition for Link's Awakening chill in there as well. Uh, again, I don't have space for everything and I want to display stuff. So some of my things you just can't see because of that. Toon Link Amiibo next to Wind Waker. More Wii U games and Wii games stacked behind there. Got a Marowak Pop, Tiny Toad, my Wii games and my GameCube games. We've got an Eevee Pop, an old cartridge of Ocarina of Time for the Nintendo 64. And on the shelf below, we have my DS and 3DS stuff. All my 3DS games here, more stacked underneath with a bunch of Pokemon pop figures, lots of Pokemon games, and a bunch of DS games chilling there, along with both editions of Soul Silver and Heart Gold. I actually have my 3DS is just like hanging out in the back there. More pops, we have some Pokeballs hanging out with some Pokemon toys. Now to look at this wall and this shelf, we have my Final Fantasy 15 boys. I love these prints so much. Absolutely gorgeous. Wish I would have gotten frames for them because the sticky tack has gone like and stained through the prints, which makes me really sad, but what can I do? It's a little late now. I have two Hallmark ornaments of Link from the original Legend of Zelda and the original cartridge of Legend of Zelda. It's not an actual cartridge, it's it's an ornament, but it's still cool. We have another first four figures, Link, but this one from Breath of the Wild, an Ocarina of Time, Ocarina replica. Now down into my anime collection. Just give you guys a quick look at all this. I have other Code Geass stuff behind this one because again, room is tight and i have to try to like make it look good while still fitting everything again also free stuff is all lined up behind the free movie collection there the rest of them are all behind i have these little fake knockoff free characters these little tiny chibis that i believe my dad got off like ebay forever ago back when i was like in high school <laughs> Yeah, pretty sure those are fake, but I still keep them around. Little keychains for Attack on Titan. Now, the next shelf, I have pop figures from Oron. I wish they would have done the other characters, but they only did these three, at least that I'm aware of. And then the rest of my anime here. More anime down here, along with Keith and Shiro pops, and a pop of Voltron. 
still mad at Voltron, but I'm not going to get into that because I literally will not stop if I start complaining. <laughs> Tiger and Bunny. Oh, I love Tiger and Bunny. <laughs> Some special editions from Sentai. We have the Parasite special edition, Sakamoto-kun, and my love story. Now it starts some old DVDs. The rest are all Blu-rays, but these ones are DVDs. The rest of my DVDs. I apologize for the dark it is just dark in my room and I have shitty lighting everywhere. I've got Studio Ghibli movies here and then Smallville which was one of my favorite shows when I was a lot younger. Uh yeah so I just I have the whole Smallville set here with the Smallville pops as well. That uh, makes me happy. I've got some movies on this side. I have a bunch of other movies kind of stored away but these are like my favorites because I can't fit them out here and then I have <laughs> the pop figures for shape of water which i absolutely love that movie is gorgeous and just it's mm, i just love it so much so I, I had to get the pop figures of course a fake monstera plant my mother picked up for me uh yeah i was happy about that i was like yay fake plants and i want a real monstera one day they're so gorgeous and then i have this giant beautiful Majora's Mask poster that I got from the symphony when I went to see it back in like, I don't know, 2015 or something. I have some more prints here. But Link from Legend of Zelda with long hair. He's pretty. We've got Sidon from Breath of the Wild, which I am just a big handsome fish man, yes. And then Krom, my husband. Uh, we got a My Love Story print up here, erased. Brackamon and Attack on Titan. On my couch, I have an old plushie that I've probably had since I was very young. It's been around forever. Stack of folded blankets underneath a giant Mukatim plush. Absolutely love. She is best girl. <laughs> yeah, couch, big pillow for my back because this couch is super uncomfortable, but whatever. This is my little reading corner. I love to sit on this little corner read. That's why there's a lamp right above it. It is perfect to chill and read on. Little end table and a box that has my medication and some video game accessories. I also have more storage boxes under here as well. Those have snacks and Iggy's dog stuff. So... <laughs> Again, there's a lot to look at. Um, the lights, I yeah, they're fun. Uh, they're they're a lot though. My room is occasionally just a little gaudy, but it's fine. <laughs> Moving on to my bookshelves here. Just giving you guys a full view of these bookshelves. I got these fake plants. I have a hunting knife up there. Don't ask. <laughs> Here we have some of my romance novels along with the Reading Rush mug that I got and the bookmarks from the Reading Rush. I did a vlog for the Reading Rush if you're interested at all. I did it for last year. It was really fun. That's on my channel under books. So if you want to peek at that, you can. I got a book sleeve here that has a dragon and it says just one more chapter. Dragon is super cute. I love. Down here we got some Dragon Age books and some other books. Uh... The Song of Achilles is amazing and absolutely heartbreaking and I die and cry in anyways. Um, I'm not here to talk about books, but I'm just going to show you what I have. Here is the next shelf. Here is my, I guess, Cassandra Clare collection. Um, it's funny is I haven't actually read the two most recent series that have happened, but I read her other books. I have the Clockwork Angel, Clockwork Prince, and Clockwork Princess. I have the special editions from Illumicrate, which came with this pretty pin. And I have the graphic novels as well. Um, and then there's a really old, I'm pretty sure she's also fake, anime statue of some random angel that used to be my father's, but he doesn't really collect them anymore. And I was like, I'll take it. So I put her with these books because Cassandra Clare angels, you know. Down here I have more stacked Cassandra Clare books. This is the, the Mortal Devices, sorry, Mortal Instruments series. Uh, yeah, I, it's, it's a mess. And then I have the 10th anniversary edition there and the book pot that came with the Illumicrate special box for the Infernal Devices series. And I just put like a random fake rose in there because I don't have anything else that would fit. On to the next shelf. We've got kind of just a bunch of random books all thrown in here. I don't, uh, I don't know. I try to organize stuff, but then it gets away from me and you end up having certain books that don't really fit in with the other books. So you kind of just put them all together. <laughs> uh, I have lots of mugs as well. A ton of bookmarks just chilling in there. We've got my Sarah J. Mass books. 
I have special covers on the on a glass series by Nerdy Ink, I believe, is the artist that does those. So that's really fun. I love the way the spines look. So that's really pretty. And then of course we've got her other series here. I have some pins. This came with a special edition box for Court of Silver Flames and it came with a bunch of custom dust jackets as well, but I didn't actually put those on here because I didn't want to damage them. I have the pre-order bonus pin for A Court of Silver Flames. The Japanese versions of Throne of Glass, which is interesting. Got some V. Schwab books. Got some Naomi Novik books. Lee Bardugo. Anyways, I'm just gonna like shut up and kind of go through the books faster so that I can move on. The rest of this series is actually behind it. Again, trying to save space, but this is my favorite cover, so I put that cover out, even though all the covers for that book series are fucking beautiful. Sorry for swearing. <laughs> Easy Mother Novels, more fake books. I mean, more fake plants, not fake books. Those are real books. This is kind of like my LGBT shelf, but it also kind of continues up here. So, you know, I just I do my best. I have my manga box sets down here. I actually have a box set behind Oran as well. It's like a Vampire Knight, a random pin. Um volume one of that other series she did that I didn't actually read yet. I've had that for years. I don't know. I've never read it. I've... <laughs> Death Note box set, Death Note novel, Death Note art book. Beautiful. I have a flip through of this on my channel if you're interested. Most of the things in my bedroom I have videos for, so if you would like to scour my channel for any of the items in my room, feel free. Those are probably around. You can check that out if you're interested. On to the next shelf. We have my Polish editions displayed beautifully for Captive Prince by C.S. Pacat. I've talked about it before in my Reading Rush video. Favorite book series ever. Absolutely gorgeous. And these freaking covers are beautiful. And this is my other Captive Prince shelf. We've got the Australian editions here, which are all signed. <laughs> I have the Japanese editions are actually like lined up behind each other again to save space, uh, but their covers are pretty, so I have them hanging out there. And I have a print by Hawberries, and then the audiobooks are actually just behind this print. Down a shelf now, we've got my Aviale box set along with some of the things that came with the Kickstarter. Um, I kickstarted the like box set of it and I wanted the whole series so I got them all. It's great. It's a webcomic. It's fantastic. Uh, 18 plus but like mwah, beautiful. <laughs> we've got the two main characters in a standee getting married and they're gorgeous and there's a beautiful 3D charm, which I still have the plastic on because I'm crazy and I need to keep the plastic on. Um, I've got these little plushies of the two main characters. I have um, Volume 1 of Occultist, which is a spin-off for the series. And then I also have the hardcover um, Dojin collection that she did for the Kickstarter as well. So it has all of the Dojin she's, that she did for it, all in one big hardback with like gold foil. That's very beautiful. And then a little golden cage with their wedding rings and you're supposed to like hang them up from the top. I haven't yet. Uh, they're still in plastic as well. <laughs> So, yeah. Anyways, moving on. Got some web comics that I absolutely love. Bang, bang, boom. We've got Starfighter. We've got Always Raining here. We've got The Lesson Epic Adventures of TJ and Amal, which is like one of my favorites. It's beautiful. This is also signed. I love. And then I have the, this is the omnibus, and then these are the single editions. And then these are two, like, little side story doujins, um for the series as well. Oh, it's so good. You, you just read it. Also 18 plus. Most of the stuff is 18 plus. Anyways, down we go again. Here I have another fake plant. Lovely fake succulent. Got my graphic novels. More of my graphic novels here. We've got Fence and the Backstagers. Dream Daddy. These are all of the single issues of Fence that came out. Uh, I've been also collecting the V.E. Schwab graphic novels. Got some of the Critical Role graphic novels. Dragon Age graphic novels. And Viva Vendetta. And then I have... <laughs> just volume seven of saga which is dumb because i was originally boring them and then i couldn't borrow seven so i just bought seven yeah i need to collect the rest of the series and actually catch up because i'm very behind and saga is really good here are my more smaller graphic novels heartstopper and adventure zone namon is fantastic god bloom pumpkin heads princess and the dressmaker also great prince and the dressmaker sorry also great <laughs> um check please which is also fantastic it is a webcomic too please check it out check please is fantastic 
here's some more manga that i have in the next shelf down got our dreams at dusk white rose and bloom we've got the whole number six series we have these beautiful books my brother's husband and then i have ancient magus's bride series hanging out here um again they're all stacked behind each other because i don't have space another fake plant we've got my spice and wolf books uh more stacked behind also more stacked behind no space haha uh mug with some more bookmarks mostly animal dog focus bookmarks great we have some of the manga i need to collect the rest of the manga some book sleeves i have this really lovely smelling pina colada candle that i got from a friend as a gift it smells so good and i love it but i haven't burnt it because i don't like burning my nice candle <laughs> as dumb as it is but it's a, it's a fun pineapple and i like that then we have my new little urian ice shrine i had to dismantle my other one because i got new shelves so i had to kind of fit it in with my new shelves so it just kind of looks like this right now my old one had lights in it i'd like to put lights in this one but it's really difficult because it's split between two shelves got a print there and a print in the back got a hanging charm we've got a ton of standees we have a makachin mug down there we've got the japanese editions of the anime more standees these are official books that were released for Yuri and Ice, which you can't really see. More of the Japanese anime on this side. We have the soundtracks there. More standees. The North American anime right there. I just have a random game in the back holding the space up so I could put this standee in the back and actually have it visible. Um, and then a bunch of fan-made books for Yuri on Ice. And I have these two little prints on the outside there. Very cute. Very cute. Gotta love flower crowns. And now on to my manga shelf. Right here. This shelf is double stacked, so there's manga going all the way to the back of the bookshelf. <laughs> I'm not pulling everything out. I think Fruits Basket is back there. Uh, these are kind of like my older series. Then we've got Come Me Some A Kiss all right here and the current Twilight Princess and Legend of Zelda manga. We've got Yona of the Dawn chilling here. I got another little thing, a tiny little stitch zoom zoom that my little friend gave me. I love him. Got a little dragon from How to Train a Dragon. My Little Monster, which is all stacked behind as well. I've got the Japanese versions of the manga for Anna Hannah, which is great. We've got Dengeki Daisy and all the others. Anyways, I need to stop talking. Delivers Princess, Voda Koi, sells at work. Say I love you. I need to collect the rest of Devil's Line. I only have volume 12. Don't ask. We've got Inu X Boku SS, some Attack on Titan. I just have random ones because I just wanted the special editions. Don't ask. More manga stacked there. Never actually continued reading Alexis's, but I love the cover, so. Also didn't continue reading Noragami, but I have some volumes with that and same thing with Horimiya. These are just like random stuff on the bottom here. Some really <laughs> uh, derpy, ugly looking little statue things that always fall apart. <laughs> from Attack on Titan. Top of my figure case here, we have got Catherine full body. We've got Persona 5 Royal. We've got like a Critical Role special edition thingy there. Big plant, pride flag. Here is my desk corner. Um, I'll go through all of my figures in my figure cases at the end, but I'm just gonna show you kind of how this corner looks. And that's my PC there with my new secret lab chair, which I'll show you that in a little bit too. I just kind of want to give you guys an idea of what my little workstation looks like. This desk is new and I got it for like $150 used on Facebook Marketplace, which is like, woo, because this desk is originally, I think $700 when I found it online. Like, holy crap. Anyways, I'm really happy. I got it for a great price. I've always wanted like a big corner desk like this. And my last corner desk was like really tiny. Underneath my desk, I just have some storage boxes, some storage chests that I keep there and a garbage can and like my lights and my heater and a paper shredder. It's just a mess. Here's my secret lab chair. It is the Akali one. I do not play League of Legends, but there was a green dragon on it and I needed a green dragon. Plus again, green for my room. <laughs> so it works out really nice. This is the chair. It is lovely. I have a great time. <laughs> Top of my desk, I've got my cosplay Micaiah's Pyre spell book or my tome. And then I have my lovely Levin sword. We've got a little Robin amiibo chill in there. Some random little plant 
fake plant terrarium thing. We've got this adorable <laughs> little Vulpix in a poke bowl and there's like icicles and shit behind her. It's really cool. That was also a gift from my friend. Another fake plant. I've got a little captive prints showcase here. We have some beautiful prints. We've got this beautiful bookmark, which I realize is Cricut. The three North American books. These cute little captive prints charms. And then we move on to my Final Fantasy 15 section here. I've got some Gladio and Ignis shippy stuff right here. I've got a standee and two little postcard prints. I got a print up here of Prompto, Ignis, and Gladio. We have the special edition of the official works. All you can see is reflection of the light, so I apologize for that. I have a Cook and Becker art book for Final Fantasy 15 as well. We've got the Brotherhood anime. We've got this the Steelbook special edition of the game. I have this cute little standee of the boys on the regalia. I have some tarot cards and playing cards for Final Fantasy 15 as well. And then when we move down to this little shelf, I have a really uh, ugly looking fake, it ha I need to redo it. I didn't do this originally. My dad picked this up, used for me. And I was like, look what I found. I was like, oh, cool. But I need to clean it and like redo it. <laughs> I have a original piece of my OCs by one of my favorite artists, Ashley Love. This beautiful Red String of Fate pin set from Hawberries. Um, my other friend made me this cute little thing. She got the picture of the, of this art from my OCs and she made it into like a little purple frame and it was super cute. I have a little succulent acrylic standee. We've got a sparkly domo. I just have books stored in there currently. So I'm not really going to show you what it looks like in there. It's just kind of a mess. It's just books I didn't have space for on my actual shelves. They're just chilling in there. I've got, um, two framed pictures of my OC, Luca, and one of my best friends, OCs, Asher. Uh, they are like a couple and it's really cute. And it's fun. Pictures of my mom and I when I was little. Uh, just Japanese study books and some notebooks and art stuff and a Kleenex box because you bitch got real bad allergies all the time and I need Kleenex everywhere I go. I just have some stuff stored in there, art supplies and extra stuff. I've got a calculator and a sticky brush or a sticky roller. Messy under desk, we're not gonna worry about that. Here is my Ariana Ice the Wall Scroll. I have a fun little cork board with art that friends have done for me and more pictures of my OCs and whatnot. We have my PC here. This is my Corsair keyboard. I got this cute little mouse pad that matches this mint colored Microsoft mouse really good. So I think they're really cute together. <laughs> my monitor here. This is an animated background. I downloaded Wallpaper Engine on my PC. So it's just a really chill, like raining scene of my beautiful boy clear. I have another fake succulent. I have some peen charms. Very fun, very cute. And then here is my PC. It is a custom PC. It is rainbow inside, which is fun. I want to replace these fans and get rainbow fans. And I also want to get a nicer case eventually. This was just the only case that they had available at my local store that had a disk drive and a window. So <laughs> that's what I went with. But eventually I'd like to get something better. And then on my, where your keyboard's supposed to go, I just have my box cutter, some chapstick, the controllers for the, the remotes for the lights on my ceiling, glasses case, Bluetooth speaker, my headphones, I have my iPad here in its case, and my journal. And that's this whole corner. We have some Hack Loki PS Vita special editions for Edo Blossoms and Kyoto Winds. Got those chill, another fake plant. Um, we'll get into my figure cases after. And then I have this big shelf here. We have a collection of the Legend of Zelda mangas released here in North America. Some soundtracks for video games and movies. Then I have my BTS collection here in the corner. That photo is also from a friend. Yay. Dramatic Converter is not supposed to be on the top there. I just haven't put it properly in yet. This is like my Nature Plus Chiral shelf. 
So I have the drama CD for Lamento, Rise drama CD from Lamento, because I liked the art. I have little standees of Aoba, Konoe, and Akira. I have the Sweet Pool Premium fan collection. I also have a video about that if you want to take a look. Some art books that are in plastic bubble wrap still because I'm an idiot and I keep forgetting to take them out and then I just leave them and I'm like, oh, they're protected. It's fine. Anyways, more art books for the Nitro Plus Chiral games. Um, some manga for Lamento. We have the Japanese versions of the games. I've got To Get an Ochi in Lamento, Dramatical Murder, and Dramatical Murder Reconnect the Chiral Night live Blu-rays for the live show that they did. I have the Vita version of Dramatical Murder and the Vita version of Sweet Pool. I've got the soundtracks and drama CDs. We have the North American version of Dramatical Murder that is chilling up here <laughs> that I haven't put in yet, as you can see. Uh, Steins Gate, which isn't Nicho plus Chiral, but it's Nicho plus. And then I have the North American versions of Togene no Chi here. And then I have a collection of little chibi figures from Lamento as well. I have not opened, well, I have opened these, but I haven't set them out anywhere. So they're just in their box still. And I just have them stored here. The shelf below is more art books. A lot of art books for Atome games. We've got like Hakuboki, Amnesia, Code Realize, Color X Malice. We have some Fire Emblem art books here. We've got the art book for Awakening, Shadow of Valencia, Fire Emblem Fates. We've got the artist who does the art for Fire Emblem. I have one of his art books. I'd love to get the rest of them. We have art books for Banana Fish, Given, Ten Count, Romeo Colors. I do flip throughs of quite a few of these art books as well. So if you're interested in seeing what's inside the art books, check out the rest of my channel. There's more to see than just my room tour. Classmates art book, My Little Monster art book, Blue Spring Ride art book, Gatsumi of the Dawn art books, and like special editions of the Japanese manga that came with extra books and like fan books and guides as what and whatnot. Uh, I have some Code Geass art books free. I have an art book for the artist who did the animation for Yuri on Ice among other anime there. I have the Yutsu North American Black Butler art books. Got Vampire Night art book. Some Spice and Love art books. And then we have um, my CDs and drama CDs. We've got some drama 18 plus drama cds hanging out over there we have ignore the paper i just i like to protect everything from getting scratched i have a little bunny from story of seasons inside a nug mug yay <laughs> i have some north american cds and then i have my japanese cd collections a random guitar thing an alistair mug i love great beautiful he's adorable uh, a little boat I made with a pride flag that I made for a photo on Instagram. You could also check out my Instagram if you're interested. Now we're getting into more like North American printed art books. I had some above, but most of those are Japanese. Uh, we've got special edition cyberpunk art book, world of cyberpunk, whatever it is. The North American Awakening. We've got Persona and, and that artist stuff. We have a Galileo Gully that's not an artist. Well, it is an artist, but it's not like art. It's the band. And then we have more art books here and then we get into some game guides we've got spider-man into the spider-verse dragon age mug special editions of legend of zelda art book creating a champion i have two of them one is the american gamestop edition one is just the standard like special edition and then i have like the standard editions here and then i have some stuff stored up there it's just it's a mess i've got the Dragon Age art books and graphic novels all here too and Mass Effect and Bioware and Uncharted and Horizon. It just there's a lot. <laughs> I have a book cart. I'm excited to use it as like a to be read cart eventually. Right now it's just holding some stuff in it that I have plans for later. Um, the stuff on the top is stuff I plan to make videos for. A random book I gotta return some mugs that I, I need to put somewhere still. And then this wall here I have my Nitro Plus Chiral wall scrolls. I have some prints along the side there. I've got Fire Emblem prints there. Those are a gift for my friend too. This lovely Makoharu poster that came out of a magazine, but like somebody gifted it to me and I was incredibly happy. Look at their stupid socks. I love them so much. They're so gay. Anyways, there's another free print chilling there. We have my bed now. I have a storage chest filled with fanny made merch, charms, art, books, all of that kind of stuff. I got my weighted blanket on the end of my bed here. 
It is by Derby. I love it very much. It is 15 pounds and I love it and it looks pretty and the green is gorgeous and it just makes me happy. But yeah, this is what my bed looks like. This is how I make it. This side of my shelves is a tiny bit of a mess. We're going to ignore that. Just some really old books, some random old fake anime figures that were my dad's that I decided to take. Lots of notebooks and stuff. I have some how to draw books from forever ago, some more Japanese art books, just a whole bunch of stuff and a candle and another fake plant and a lamp and then we have a light wall scroll. My BL shelves above my bed because I thought it was fitting. <laughs> Here are my North American BL collections uh, except the last things on the shelf. Those are Japanese art books. I just couldn't fit them in the Japanese shelf. And we have more North American BL yaoi whatever you want to call it is fun stuff we have a growlith oh we also have these tiny little 10 count boys in their little coats i have these gift plushies of victor and yuri and then a little muck team behind i have a build-a-bear vulpix which is super fun she makes noise uh -huh. <laughs> my dad and i passed her in the mall like years ago and he looked at her and he's like do you want her and i was like yeah and he bought her for me and it was great um these have a ton of Japanese magazines just stored in them. I just got these storage things from Ikea so I could kind of like hide them and they wouldn't look so ugly. I just have plushies and like more stuff stored in the shelves behind my bed because these are just actual full bookcases. And there's a ton of stuff stored under my bed, which we're not going to talk about. On this shelf, we have more Japanese manga and some doujinshis and an art book from this artist, Nakata Yonezo. Some mugs with more bookmarks that are like really pretty family bookmarks. We have a Sebastian prize figure that a friend bought for me at a convention one year. Uh, I have some drama CDs and a whatnot here along with more Japanese manga, more drama CDs and more Japanese manga. A lovely Vulpix pop. In these ones I have my doujinshi collection which there is quite a lot of. Uh, yeah lots of doujinshis anyways. Me and my friend and this beautiful um, and Iggy. And uh, my beautiful plushie she bought me one year. I keep them together. He's like the softest thing. He's an elephant. I took a picture of him for an Instagram post. He's a, a just, just beautiful. I love him so much. His name is Smudge. <laughs> He's a jelly cat plushie. Uh, sheets and like more stuff that's stored. We have an Attack on Titan wall scroll here. My lamp. Water bottle. Book I'm currently reading. More Kleenex because I need Kleenex literally in every area of the house. So I don't have to leave to go get Kleenex in a different area. Because again, I have allergies really bad uh big water bottle medication in a mug and chapstick because i am on new meds and i take meds in the morning now too so it's just lots of medication uh more books and stuff stored all under here some more knock off figures and mugs and there's like earplugs in that one and like a, a reading light in that one i don't know it's a mess just more books and and like some old manga that doesn't really go anywhere else just kind of you know uh this mess i have a lamp hitting under hidden under here because i can't see reading with this lamp it's too dim so sometimes i'll pull out the second one and use that one to read by because i am blind and i can't read in the dark here's makatine again very cute look at the tongue love it's big ears love anyways and then here is how i have my figure cases set up and then of course the ones on either side here so now that you have seen how my room is set up for the most part, I can now get in to all of my figure cases and show you guys my actual figure collection. And I think that'll be really fun. Uh, I guess really quick, I'll just show you what's up top. Uh, I had a dog, she passed away, that's her urn. Um, that's a fancy alarm clock that like mimics the sunrise and it gets really bright in the morning. That's a nesting doll that I got forever ago. Another fake plant. That's a taxidermied squirrel. We're not going to talk about the story behind that, but I have a taxidermied squirrel. Here's a big statue of a dragon, a little figure of a dragon, um, a gold, a man digging gold, white horse, I don't know, is a thing, a little Lego, golden snitch, a wand, a phone case with V's mask. Of course, we have V from Red mask up here. A... <laughs> I think it's pronounced Schleck. I don't know. They're like toys, but it's a kangaroo. I got a kangaroo. <laughs> and then over here we have this dumbass cord that's out. I forgot to turn this on. I have like a little jar with fairy lights in it because I don't know. I had extra fairy lights and a jar and I was like, why not? <laughs> Another fig plant. We've got a Levi Figma here. Now we'll get into my actual figure cases. So 
first shelf, we have Code Geass, we've got Suzaku, we've got Lelouch and Suzaku, then we got Emperor Lelouch, absolutely beautiful, love these figures so much, literally all of the lights are reflecting everything, I didn't think this through, I'll just open this up and show you guys this way. Beautiful, fantastic, again, I have videos for, I believe, every figure in my collection except potentially two of them so or maybe three i guess so yeah if you're interested in checking out all those unboxings and like reviews of them feel free <laughs> we've got pilot loose we've got fancy loose in the back there we've got or zero i guess we've did i say loose i meant suzaku for this one we've got suzaku in his zero costume here we have a single figure of archer from fate stay night unlimited blade works i am going to be getting merlin's beautiful figure by altair pretty soon so he's gonna go in this shelf with him then we have my tales of series figures all by altair as well tales of exilia Two in the back, we've got Tales of Abyss and Tales of the Spariel Yuri here, which repeat. I love them, it's great. So that is that is my collection of figures in the first case. On to the second case. We have my first free shelf, and there's a free print behind it, just to I don't know, give it some kind of background. I'm not sure. These are all altar figures as well. We've got Haruka and Makoto hanging out here. We've got high school versions of them in the back. And then we have their free starting days um, middle school version here. Anyways, I love it so much. They're so gorgeous and I literally cry. Oof, I'm so happy I have it. So beautiful. Again, I have videos for almost everything, I believe, except these two and then the Elven and Android. And here is my second free shelf. We've got the rest of the boys here. We've got Nagisa and Rei, Sosuke and Rin. Beautiful, beautiful. There's lights on a pole behind my figure cases as well. I keep forgetting what that is there. We have two Kurobukiya figures of Saito and Okita from Hakuoki which I love, very beautiful. I wish they would have done the rest of the characters, but of course they didn't because Kotobukiya is very picky and they only choose like one or two characters in a series to do and they don't continue, very upset. Good Small Company is Okita Nendroid, which I swear to God, <laughs> Good Small Company, you are known to finish most of the casts. Are you going to do the other characters? Because I desperately need the rest of them in androids now and i'm very upset i just want a full set of the boys and i'm so upset please yeah anyways he exists got my high cute androids there's a high cute print below which you can't even fully see because of the acrylic stairs and all the androids block it but yeah i have them all in kind of like shippy cute shippy poses as you can see again i have videos for all of these cute on to the next figure case. The next figure case has some ladies in it. We've got my Legend of Zelda case with this really fun, I forget what he's called, R.A.H. Real Action Heroes or something. He's like fully poseable and he is all bendable and is wearing actual fabric clothes, which is pretty cool. So that is Skyward Sword Link. Then we have Majora's Mask Link, we've got Breath of the Wild Link, we've got Twilight Princess Zelda and Twilight Princess Link Figmas, we've got another Nendroid of Zelda from Breath of the Wild, and then in the next shelf we have my beautiful, lovely, badass lady, a gorgeous naked holo. She's super pretty, I believe she's one seventh, and then I think they're, the other two are one eighth. Another holo with a, with a mug of beer, adorable, absolutely cute, gorgeous, we stand. Makise Kurusu in the back on the stairs with their coat flowing in the, in the air. Oh, love her. So good. And then a little holo nendroid, which is great. On the next shelf, we have got maybe spoilers, but at this point they've been out for a long time. So anyways, we've got my dead girl shelf. <laughs> Um, yeah, so we have my dead girl shelf. We got Cowdy. Uh, I have two figures of Cowdy here with her violin. One from Good Smile Company and I think one from Aniplex. But very nice. That little cat actually goes with the Aniplex Cowdy. We have Menma, her Altair figure here, which I'm so happy I have. They ended up re-releasing her and I was so, so happy. And that's her and like the, tr the, 
the clubhouse, which is really cool. And then we have little nendroid of Menma. And then in the next shelf, we have kind of like just a bunch of different nendroids chilling. We've got One Punch Man in the back. We've got a lone gallo because Leo is still in his box because his base, the like arm support for his figure won't fit. So I can't make him stand. So I'm waiting for Good Smile Company to send a replacement in and they will, uh, but just they can't ship to Canada right now. So I have to wait. Leo will be posed with him eventually when I get the chance. We have Ash and AG's and Androids. We've got Cells at Work and Androids, which their faces are kind of covered from the shadow of their hats. I apologize. We've got a Nathan Drake and Android. We've an Okabe and Android. Elias and Inuyasha, Yuri and Marth and Keida? Is her name Keida? Her name is Sheena in the Japanese one, so I know her, know her as like Sheena. Anyways, these, this is just kind of like a mix match of these guys. I wish they would make a Chise to go with Elias really bad, and I'm excited for Kagome and Sashomaru's nendroids that are coming out eventually. Just like, he's so cute. Also, again, another reminder that I have videos of like all these, so if you're interested, go take a watch. On to this figure case beside my desk. We have prints behind all of these shelves because why the hell not? If I can have some gorgeous ones of Victor and Yuri, we have this Good Small Company Victor and Yuri set with Makatin running in the back. They're supposed to be like running on the beach or whatever. It's great. This is a little acrylic standee that came with it. I just oh, I love them so much. And we have another print of them here. We've got a uh, Kotobukiya Victor here on the bench. But again, Kotobukiya didn't make a matching Yuri to go with him. So I'm super upset about that. So I just have one extra Victor, but whatever. We've got Yurio, Victor, Yuri, all from Mega House. They're gem figures. Actually, the same company that did the Kotobukiya's figures. So that's who did these three with their little um, bonuses dogs and little cat. Then in the next shelf, we have another Yuri on Ice print in the back, but not Yuri on Ice figures. We've got Takato and Junta figures from Daikaichi, which is a BL manga and anime, which I quite love. Those are my first bunny figures. I have videos for them too. They're good. They're fun. Uh, I got Saijo and Kusakabe from Classmates. Their figure, their figure, like the two of them together is so expensive because of the rings. Anyways, they come with like real rings. It's cool, it's a good time. And then we have another Yuri on Ice print with all of my Yuri on Ice Nendos. As you can see, got the casual Nendos, got Pachit, we've got Odebeck, we've got Coach Victor, we've got Skating Victor, and Eros Yuri, and Agape Yuri, Yuri on Ice Yuri. <laughs> so that is that shelf here. Real fun time. I really need to wipe all of the fingerprints off of these. So here we have my Nitro Plus case. All of these are by Nitro Plus. Mostly Nitro Plus Cheryl. Everything is just reflective, isn't it? Uh, we have a print in the back for Dramatic Murder. We've got Ren in his rhyme form here. We've got Alba hanging out here. That original art he was based off of is from this wall scroll here. I just love them. They're so good. We have Alba and Kojaku's Nendroids with a beautiful little clear Nendroid. Absolutely adorable. We've got another Dramatic Converter print. We have the 18 plus native figure of Alba all chained up. I also have a video about him. But yeah, he is there. He exists. He has a peen. <laughs> uh, moving on, I have it covered up because I can't display that when family comes over. Um, we have Gothic Alba here with a little Ren in his little boots. Mm, love. Then we have Noise Nendroid and Mink Nendroid. And that's how that's set up. Another Dramatic Converter print, but not Dramatic Converter. <laughs> we have Token Rambu. Uh, I don't play the game. I just really liked the figures. This dude right here was like my one of my first, one of my first figures, not the first figure, but he was like I think my first pre-ordered figure. He was just so gorgeous and I kept thinking about him and I had to order him so I ordered him and got him. And then Mikazuki here I ended up getting later and then I have their nandroids as well. Kugetsunimaru, that's his name. I kept forgetting his name. I was like what was his name? That's it. That's it. Kugetsunimaru. Anyways, down here I don't have another Dramatical Murder print so 
while uh, I just have a Captive Prince print here to put something behind there. Yeah, it's not related in any sense. But we have Kotobukiya figures of Akira from Togeno no Chi. We've got the Kotobukiya figures, oh, with well, a little light box for my, my lights. We've got the Kotobukiya figures for the Lamento Boys, Konoe, Rai, Asato, and Bardo here. But yeah, those are those boys all there. So this is all... Nitro Plus. And I don't know if I really showed you like a decent look at this chair. It's so hard to show because my room is so dark. It's a cool chair. I really like it. It's God Dragon. <laughs> Anyways, so this is my whole room. Um, fun lights, lots of shit everywhere. <laughs> uh yeah, so comment down below. Tell me what you guys think. Give me your opinions. Um let me know if you like it, if you don't like it, what's going on. That was my whole room, pretty much. If I missed anything or if you have any questions, feel free to ask it. Also, like, subscribe, do all the, the YouTube stuff. You can check out the rest of my channel and see if there's any videos you were interested in. I have stuff you've seen in my room. You can go look for those. It's all great good time. This is this is the whole thing. So I just wanted to show you guys. I know you've been asking for a long time to see an updated room tour of my room. And I hope that it met your expectations. Um, there is one thing I actually forgot to mention. I have my katana here. I used to be in a different spot. But I need to find a place to put it. Because I would like to mount it somewhere. I just don't have a method of mounting yet, so I just have it like chilling here for now. Oh my god, I realized I forgot to show you guys what my room looks like with the lights turned off, but like the lights up top on. <gasps> it's so nice and like so ambient and it's just like real pretty to just like hang out and chill down here with the lights like this. Like it like it's just so nice. It's great. I love it. It makes me happy. So happy. I know I had fun showing you guys the space. So if you, again, are interested in any of my other videos, go take a look at that stuff. Uh, it would mean a lot. Like, subscribe, comment, do the whole shebang. Maybe you guys will stick around on my channel a little bit. I just, it's so, it's so fun. I have good times here. <laughs> yeah, and I have more unboxings and stuff to come in the future. So have fun with those as well if you're interested. Uh, I apologize for the lighting and my mouth that doesn't shut up. Because <laughs> I talk a lot and I apologize. But I hope you enjoyed this video. And I will link in the description below my affiliate links to CD Japan and Tokyo Talk Mode. If you purchase anything for those links, I get a small commission. Thank you guys so much if you have before. I really appreciate it. And I will also link all of my social media in the description below as well. So you can take a look at that. Go follow my Instagram if you want. I'm currently doing a challenge for Pride Month. So that's a really fun thing. Um, different prompts for like BL manga and whatnot. I'm actually also wearing rainbow socks in celebration of Prima. Thank you for watching, and I hopefully will see you guys in the next video. Bye!